Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dead Rising. Uh, let's continue from where we left off. Hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, do drop a like. It does help the series out a lot. Jesse's still a rookie. I should never have brought her into this situation. So this next group of survivors that we're going to collect, um, make sure to take a picture of the, um, the vent, because the survivors won't come with you unless you have a picture of the vent. Will use up as much of this machete as I can. Okay, we're going to the food court. Okay, cut right through here. Yeah, Alfresca Plaza for some reason always has so many zombies. Okay, so the next survivor is going to be right here. What the hell are you doing in here? <laughs> Feel like a drink, partner? No cover charge. Worthless, drunk. Don't you know what's going on out there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. That's exactly why I'm drinking. <laughs> You expect me to stay sober in this situation, asshole? Just come with me. You're gonna get your ass eaten if you stay here. Goddamn huh. zombies, come on, come and get me. Hope you can hold your liquor, though, because I'm soaking in it. Perfect. Leveled up to from that. Look. There's a helicopter coming. If you want to be on it, you'll come with me. I already got someone coming to get me. Angels. Beautiful angels. <laughs> Zombies, <laughs> angels, people, whatever. Let's all get drunk. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, to get this guy to follow you. You can't be serious. Ouch, what the hell are you doing? What a piece of work you are, man. You really think help is coming for you? Ain't nobody coming to help us, partner. We're all gonna die here. Serious? Someone's really coming for us? For sure? Trust me or not, that's your choice. I'll go! Take me with you! I'm going! <laughs> Doesn't get much better than this. Now, about um Jill, is that Jill, you're gonna have to support him while, um... I'll be sure to make it last. Because he's drunk, yeah, he's not gonna be able to move on his own, really. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, leave Jill in there. And we're gonna have a boss battle in here now. Also, Paul is one of the youngest characters in the game. He's 19 years old. Um, and about Paul, the backstory behind him is he's not really a psychopath. His battle is a little annoying because he constantly throws pipe bombs at you and molotovs, and he has RC cars with explosives on them too. But uh, the backstory behind Paul is that Paul was just a guy that constantly would get bullied, and uh, when the zombie apocalypse happened, he basically snapped. His battle isn't too annoying, it's just when he's sprinting away, he's throwing molotov- um, pipe bombs at you, it gets annoying. Just keep moving. Crap. You can pick up his Molotov if you're quick, also. Stay away from me! Don't come any closer! Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, uh, now you can save Paul. You can pick up a fire extinguisher and just... Looks like you're no worse for wear. I... I... Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I'll never do huh. anything like that again. If you promise to behave yourself and cooperate, I'll escort you to a safe place. Okay, I'll cooperate. My arson days are over. Good. So he's one of the few psychopaths in the Dead Rising series that survives. Uh, and then the other two survivors right in here. I don't know what it was, but it did something to my fit. Everything's okay now. You don't have to be afraid. I can take you to a safer place than this. You feel up to a little trip? Okay, just leave it to me. Okay, leveled up again. We're gonna take them back to the sec uh, security room, and then right after this, we're gonna save the survivors in the hey, gun shop. Here. Why don't you try taking a picture, paparazzi man? Paparazzi Follow man. Me. I appreciate that the survivors are so much more intelligent than this now. Come on! Clearing the way here. Come on! Oh, 
on, come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, time to get chill now. Come on! Okay. Consider my buzz officially killed. Now I've got to start getting my drink on all over again. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we're going to save the other group of survivors. Always carry the queen, so when I'm uh, transporting a large groups of survivors, it's extre extremely helpful. When you see the zombies like scratching their neck like that, it's because there's a they got a queen on their neck. Make sure you just clear out this outside here because it, it can get a bit annoying. Okay.
What, what is he doing? Whoa, whoa, what the? You've got some real balls, man. You got some business with us? There's a helicopter coming. It'll be here on Friday. I thought you might want to ride. Come with me and you'll be out of this hell in no time. Where is it supposed to land? There's zombies everywhere. Zombies everywhere! There's a heliport on the roof over in the entrance plaza. But the security room door's sealed. Huh. So yeah, these guys are, I think, like doomsday preppers. There's a duct on the roof of Paradise Plaza. It's a straight shot to the security room from there. Sounds fishy to me. Will you oh my shut God, up shut up! Once, Alyssa? Oh, he said it too. Not that I trust you completely either, man. Brett, what do you think? How about some proof? <laughs> You heard the man. Go find your duct and take a picture of it with the camera you got there. Then oh, what? Feast your eyes on this. That's gotta be a glitch when they were shooting at me again. Looks kosher to me, huh. Brett. Crap, no, yeah, this, this is a glitch. This is really the only glitch I've encountered in the remake, is this one here. Let's do it. Lead the way, man. Wow. Okay. Karate chop, okay. Okay. Okay, and let me, um, let me see what other survivors I still need. Um, and don't worry, guys, because I will have a whole guide on how to save every single survivor in this game once I, um, once I beat it. Um, but I've gotten most of the survivors on day three. I'm just checking here to see who I haven't gotten yet. Uh, okay, I got him, him, her. I got them. Okay. Okay. Come on. Always hate this area right here. Follow me. Clear a path here. Follow me. Go. Oh, two queens. I'm in luck. Might as well shoot this out here. Survivor is way more intelligent now. Okay. Follow me. Come on, guys. Wonderful. Okay, let's see here. Let's 
sick man. Pretty sure he's on the first floor. Oh, great. Follow me! There's a woman that's trapped right there. Yep, okay. The sick man, let's get him first. Over there. It's too dangerous to be out here. Hey. Whoa, whoa, okay. That's a good picture there. Okay. You look a little sick. You feeling okay? Uh, I'm fine. Just a scratch. Huh. No, no problem. You hurt. Where? Show me. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. We better get you taken care of. Follow me. We can treat your wound. If you say so. Okay. Now I'm gonna save that woman over there. Oh, look at that photo, right? Perfect. Okay, queen. I was gonna throw it over the rail, but it didn't go. Okay. Oh, there's another one right here. Okay. Come on, ma'am. Follow me. You would be my personal escort. What a polite boy. Boy? <laughs> Follow me! Okay, now we get everyone back to the security room, Come on! Come on! Another queen. This is the biggest mistake that people make when they're collecting survivors. They don't hold queens, and they're essential. They they really save you when you're in a tight jam. There's a gun shop in the North Plaza. I think we could do with some firearms right about now. I'm gonna level up a bunch. I might get up to level 50 before the end of the game, too. That's the max level. Come on!
Come on, come on, run faster. Come on, come on. Thanks, fearless leader. Score five survivors at once. Okay. Oh, there's a bonus for escorting more survivors, too. Okay. Okay. Uh, 9.35 about. Okay, let me just look at the other survivors. Am I, who am, am I missing anyone else? Um... No, I don't think I'm really, I'm... Yeah, I'm not really missing anyone else here, and, uh... Okay. I'm missing, uh... Three more survivors, let me just see here. Uh Okay. I guess while we're waiting, I can, um... Get some more queens, because those will come in handy. And the next part, uh... The next part that I do, queens are going to be very important. Queens here. Get the uh, submachine gun up here. Jeez. I see one. Okay, so this next part that I'm going to do, guys, uh, you guys are going to see why queens are so important when I get to it. But yeah, if you can stock up on queens, get them a bunch here. And we're going to get a new chainsaw, too, because those magazines really help. They keep the chainsaw alive, but I could really use another one.
Damn, okay. Man, those chains, this, this mini chainsaw is really overpowered, okay. Okay, let's get back to the safe room now. Perfect, another queen. So I forgot about that, that Carlito um, will say that on the um, intercom before, uh... Okay, let's see here. Okay, it's 10.30. Construction related, uh... Feeding zombies. Sporting goods three times as long. I don't think I really need a sporting good, um, magazine. If I can find another queen, um, that'll be essential too. And that magazine, um, where I get more, um, you know, player points for, um, power points for killing zombies. Uh, once I get to, uh, level 50, I'm not gonna need that magazine anymore, because you can't go past level 50. Oh, and the last entry is a psychopath, right? There's still one more psychopath. Uh Okay. Just Her injuries aren't serious, but I can't tell if we're looking at a bite wound or not. We'll just have to keep a close eye on her. Isabella! I don't know if you're listening to this or not, but I've made up my mind. This is the last resort. Last resort. I'm going to end it all. I'm sorry that I got you involved in all this. I love you, Isabella. Isabella. 
Exactly what is this last resort talk all about? Carlito said that he'd blow up the mall if he were cornered. <laughs> Damn! We got a regular suicide bomber on our hands. It's worse than you think. The explosion would send parasitic larvae into the atmosphere. He plans to spread zombies outside of the city? Is he insane? If that bomb goes off, there'll be nowhere to run. The zombies will be everywhere. <sighs> He's planning to flood the area underneath the mall with flammable gas, then set it off. If you could take care of the bombs while the gas concentration is still low. There's a chance we could stop the explosion. Let's do it. Okay, uh... Please, you have to stop my brother. The bombs won't detonate while the gas concentration is still low. The mall's gonna blow up. Who the hell would do such a thing? Okay, now what we're gonna do is before we even do this, we're actually gonna go and meet um uh, Kent. So the tunnels are where the queens are going to come in handy the most. And if you think this is a lot of zombies, you ain't seen nothing yet, not until you see the tunnels. Carlito's bombs go off, it's all over. We've got to collect them all and dispose of them, okay? And just save our game right here. Because there, there's actually two cutscenes that you can get with Kent. And I'll show you guys how to actually get both of those cutscenes. Um... I know it's this is kind of weird that the placement of the time like Kent's mission is right here but you have to do it before the bombs I know it doesn't really make much sense the bombs are the most important thing Stop. Save 
Frankie. Good timing. I was uh, just about to shoot my mwah, piece de resistance. <laughs> I'm going to capture on film the exact moment that a human being crosses into zombiehood. So Kent is a psychopath, uh... Kindle's betrayal. Yeah, so, uh, Kindle is gonna basically start saying that there's no, um, there's no helicopter and he's gonna, he's gonna try to get the survivors to leave the safe room. Kent is actually not that hard of a boss battle, if I remember, yeah. Do it, Frank. Take my picture. Uh, uh, it'll look great on your mantle. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> What's this? Uh, get 100 from taking photos. Mm. That you get that magazine there, uh. Are you all right? What's up with that freak? What a nut job. There'll be plenty of time to get pissed off later. We don't have time to stick around here, chat. There's a safe place not far from here. Think you can follow me? Yeah, I hate this place now anyway. I'll go with you. Follow me! Barely any zombies me! here now. Okay. About the bombs, we'll still have time. Uh... A woman in despair. We're, we'll do this one too, uh, because it's it's right next to us. Come on! Over there! Tell this. Tell him to wait in there. Woman in despair, uh... Are you okay? I'm here to help. Her. You came to help? Me? <laughs> That's right. There's a helicopter coming to save us Friday. Everyone's fled to the security room. I'll take you there, too. To save us. Sorry, but it's too late to save me. I've been bitten. Huh. So you were bitten. So what? That doesn't mean you have to turn into one of them. Seriously? Where did you hear that? A lady named Isabella. She's a medical technician. She knows a lot about the whole zombie thing. 
She does, huh? How? Um, yeah, about that. It's complicated. I, I can't really explain it here. Is it like a disease or something? Or is her specialty in B-movies? Look, all I know is that she's the only one who knows how to deal with this thing. She probably has some way of treating it. Just trust me, okay? I'll take you to her. Please. You really trust that woman, don't you? Hmm. I guess you deserve the same. Take me to her. So, um, yeah, so about Simone, is that Simone will not join you if you avoid the main story. So, to do, you Follow have me. to get, you have to get Isabella to the safe room. So, if you don't do the main story, if you don't bring Isabella ever back to the safe room, Come she on. won't go with you. Follow me. And a Simone later requests a gun from you, I don't know why, um, but, uh... Kendall's betrayal. Kendall's trying to convince the riders in the security room to split um, off and follow him. We need to get back and explain things. Okay. Follow me. Oh, Queen. These are the last two survivors in the game. There are no more survivors to save. They're the last two. I sure hope you don't snap one day and freak out like that other photographer guy. <laughs> okay. It's that and Kindle's betrayal. Let's take care of it too here. It's pointless to sit on our hands here waiting for a helicopter that may or may not even show up. We have enough people to do this. We should make a break for the main exit. They can't stop us all. Hey, that's crazy talk, and you know it. Don't get these people riled up like that. You're the crazy one. You must believe in the Tooth Fairy if you think that helicopter's coming. Anyone who can buy into something like that with no proof is a fool. And how do you plan on getting out of here, huh? Enlighten me. We gather as many weapons as we huh. can from inside the mall. Then we make a break for it in the daytime. Once we're out, we can hotwire us a few cars from the parking lot and hightail it out of here. We're not all gonna make it, I realize mm. that. But that's just the price we have to pay. Sorry to rain on your parade, pal, but you won't be able to get past the National Guard's barricades. What? The National Guard's involved? No doubt about it. I saw it all from the sky. Unless you plan on riding a tank out of here, I'm afraid you're stuck in Willamette. Yeah, but... All right, I've got a plan. Just wait here until noon tomorrow. If the helicopter shows, <sighs> that's our ticket out. If it doesn't, I'll hand the reins over to you. You can decide what we do next. Noon tomorrow, huh? I won't wait any longer than that. Got it? Hmm. Sounds like a plan, partner. Everyone, listen up. The plan's been altered. We'll delay it until tomorrow afternoon. Sorry for any confusion. Mutant, uh, mutiny averted. And also... The guys that are blocking the town are not National Guardsmen. Frank thinks that they're National Guardsmen, uh, but they're not. Okay. Okay.
Now, remember how I told you guys that Kent has an alternate cutscene? I'll actually show you guys the alternate cutscene right now. We still got plenty of time for the bomb, so... It's not that big of a deal. Okay, let me... Sh uh. Let me show you guys the, uh... The other Kent cutscene. Oh, time. wait, okay, hang on. Was, uh... Okay, hold on one second. Uh about the other the other cutscene. Uh to get the other cutscene you have to arrive late. Uh so you have to be uh, arriving there late. Well, that was a glitch, okay. Yeah, but I haven't really had any massive game-breaking glitches. This at least was way better than Definitive Edition uh, GTA games. Okay, so for Kent's thing, you have to arrive late. I think it's five minutes late, and the cutscene actually- the cutscene and the boss battle is actually different. Okay, so it's gonna arrive a little bit late. Okay. Okay. This should be good now. Listen, Mr. West, I I owe you an apology. Looks like you're a pro after all, you know? I am. I would have known that. I'd have taken pictures like this from the start. Ha! How you like them apples, huh? You see, I think outside a box. And the best part is, I'm just getting started. <sighs> I'm going to tie you up nice and tight. Get the zombies all riled up. <laughs> Famous photographer Frank West. <laughs> Killed in the line of duty like a true hero. <laughs> This will be the greatest picture of my career. Maybe in the history of photography. <laughs> if you want to know what happened to the other guy, he killed him. This is going to take uh, me straight to the top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, this boss battle is really annoying because uh, you lose all of your weapons. It's like, you know, ten times harder, and you're trapped with this chain. You can do a lot of damage to Kent with the pots. But watch out for that kick when he does it, because you lose so much health. I want to see you squirm in pain, Frank! 
Keep hitting him with plants. God damn it, you third rate porn star. <laughs> Do it, Frank. Take my picture. Uh, uh, it'll look great on your mantle. Uh, 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 uh. So that's basically what happens if you arrive five minutes late. You get that cutscene of completely different boss battle, and the um, I don't know how his body gets over here, but the other survivor dies. So that's that's pretty much what happens. Um. Okay, uh, let's see here, yep, this one, load this one. So, we're gonna, uh, I saved that guy, just wanted to show you guys the alternate cutscene here. Okay, now I gotta go to the maintenance tunnel. Good thing I kept those queens, stop Carlito's bombs. The uh, parking is over here. Okay. And uh, if you don't stop the bombs, you actually get ending F. But I'll show all the endings once I beat the game. First bombs, okay, right here. This is why I kept the queen, see this? Okay, so one of them. I think you can take this truck, yeah. Four bombs left, okay. Okay. There, see that Carlito. Crap, he's throwing pipe bombs. Uh, 
Three bombs remaining. And you don't have to defeat Carlito, you can actually just defuse the bombs. Crap, okay. Kent's magazine is definitely coming in handy here to level up. Okay. Okay, here comes Carlito. Now, um, I don't remember whether that's the cutscene, the, the, the defeat Carlito cutscene plays if you, um... If you just defuse the bombs... Of He'll um right away, but he'll uh he will come back. So that's a new dialogue, by the way. That line right there where he says, You cannot stop me, Frank. I'm pretty sure he doesn't say that in the original, and that's that pretty much confirms it right there. That he is the one who summoned Frank to Willamette. Because it's never been confirmed who summoned Frank to Willamette, but it's highly believed it's Carlito. But how does he know exactly what Frank's name is? Frank never told him his name. Okay, I'm not gonna get the last bomb here yet. I'm gonna defeat Carlito first. Oh, crap.
wait for him to come back. He will come back. So I don't remember whether the cutscene plays of Carlito if you um if it's the same cutscene if you defeat him or not. Oh, here we go. Dumbest thing Brad did when he said freeze, he should have just shot him. Get those bombs outside, Frank. Queen. We got rid of your bombs. This is as far as you go today. Just give up and surrender. <laughs> You know what that means? It means he's really low on ammo because there's little holes in the magazine that's meant to tell how many rounds you have left in the gun. Because you see the, the rounds in there. So he's got to make his shots count. The terrorist days are over, Carlito. You're finished. Thank <laughs> you. 
If you look in the remake really carefully, I think the cutscene's a little bit different. You can see something in the background before Brad falls out the door. Imagine being pushed into that. Well, shit. No! Frank, sounds like you took care of the bombs. How's Brad? The bombs are over and done with. Brad went after Carlito. Copy. Report back here, Frank. Yeah. So, what I was gonna say about Brad there is Brad's biggest problem is that Brad is a, a, is a really good cop, but he's too much of a by-the-book cop. And Homeland Security technically does count as law enforcement. They can arrest people. So, about Brad, uh, what I was saying about him is that he's a very by-the-book police officer. And while that's normally a good thing, uh, is that he had a perfect he had a perfect chance to shoot Carlito when he was coming out of the uh, the truck, but he didn't do that. He told him instead to freeze. He he should have shot him. And then also when Brad had stopped Carlito, um, uh, when Brad had stopped Carlito in that tool room, he should have shot and killed him. You know, Carlito um, was still a threat, and Carlito was too dangerous to keep alive. So you know, Brad should have shot him there. Uh, but about Brad, uh, is that Brad? It says here lost. For him now. If you see if you see this, um, it'll just say lost. But you can still find him. Can I fit this through here? No, I can't. So there's a secret cutscene. You can actually find Brad if you go here. It's this area right here. The underground warehouse. So this cutscene is missable. You can continue this main story without doing this cutscene. Brad? Brad? Frank! <coughs> Don't get any closer. Stay away, Frank. Don't get near me. What's the matter, Brad? Are you hurt? I'm coming over there, Brad. We'll go back together. If you're hurt, we'll patch you up. I'm screwed. Even a little. I'm already dead. Frank. Don't tell Jesse about this.
And now, um, you got a trophy in an achievement in the original if you took a picture of, of, um, of Zombie Brad. Perfect. But look, Brad's gun only has one bullet in it. Uh, so that's a nice little detail that they added there. So just put Brad out of his misery there. I never understood how Carlito got out of this room, considering there's no uh, exit out of here. Oh, uh, maintenance tunnel key. Oh, this one. This is important. Maintenance tunnel key. And now we can, um... Yeah. Now we can, uh... We can open all the doors in the maintenance tunnels, too. That's a good thing we can do as well. So, I guess we will wrap this up here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. That That's the saddest... I think that Brad's death is probably the saddest moment in the entire Dead Rising series. So, thank you guys for watching. There's still going to be a lot of unexpected uh, things that are still going to happen. But thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, do drop a like. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys. You call on me to say Oh, how